viewers to another episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2024 GCE Mathematics paper team. So if you haven't seen the other episode, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the screen. You find a lot of resources that is going to be helpful to ensure that you armor and ace that exam of yours. Let us look at question in 9. 9M, the diagram shows a triangle PQR in which PR equals 8.9 cm, QR 12.5 cm, and PRQ 130.6 degrees. Calculate PQ, the area of triangle PQR, then Roman numeral 3, the shortest distance from R to PQ. So let us start with the M. So for M, how can we find PQ? So we can find PQ using the cosine loom. Why? Because two sides subtending angle 130.6 degrees are given. So because they are given, we can easily use the cosine loom, which states that if we call these to be a, then this to be B, then this to be C, then A square, which we are looking for, which is PQ, must equal to B square plus C square, where B and C are the two sides obtaining the angle theta minus 2 times B and C then cos theta. That's what we use. So, based on this, we can easily find PQ. So, let me just create space. So, PQ, which is equal to A, in this case, so A square equals, so we pick these two, so B is 12.5, then C is 8.9. So, I'm going to have 12.5 square plus uh, 8.9 square, then minus 2 times, we're going to have 12.5, then times 8.9, then times cos the angle. What is this angle? Under Dandy, 30.6. So that's the angle, 130, 130.6 degrees. Then at this point, we can use our calculator. When you use our calculator, we're going to get uh, 156.25 plus 79.21 then we are going to have minus 2 2 2.5 then cos is a different color cos 130.6 degrees then simplifying this when you use our calculator we are going to find that a square is equal to uh, it will be 380 at this point I encourage you to just use the calculator 25726 then you find the M which is equal to the square root of this 380.25726 so A is equal to 19.5 centimeter because these values are given to one decimal place. So, therefore, PQ is equal to 19.5 centimeter. So, once you do this, you should be able to get these five marks. Then, you can find Loma numeral 2, which is the area of triangle PQ. So, the area of triangle PQ, we just use... Uh, the formula using the sign, which is area equals half times uh, BC sine that angle, which is in this case A. So this is the angle we are looking for. Then we can easily find that. So let me just go where the space. Enough space. I create enough space. So the area equals half times you have 12.5 multiply by 8.9 times sine 130.6. So 
So what is key here in this case is knowing that the angle you are using in this angle, sin A, is this angle, then you need to have two subtending sides. That's what you need to be clear of. So it's the product of subtending sides multiplied by half then times the sine of this angle. So if we had this angle, if this is the angle that we had, we are going to use this side and this side. Then which is in this case 19.5, it will be 19.5 times 8.9 times the angle that we could have found to be here. Then the area will still be the same. So that's the principle. So take note of that. You need to be consistent so that you don't mix up things. Then at this point, we just encourage you to use a calculator. When we multiply this one, when we multiply the two, we are going to have half multiplied by 12.5 times 8.9. We are going to get 111.25 multiplied by uh, sine 113. When you simplify this one, you are going to end up with 42.2344 centimeter square, which ends up with 42.2 centimeter square as in the area of the triangle. Then, Loma number three, the shortest distance from R to PQ. So from R to PQ. So PQ is this one. Then R to PQ. So looking for this such that this angle is 90 degrees. So, so at that point when I'm going to have the shortest distance. Because if that angle is not 90 degrees, then this will be longer. Until it reaches at 90 degrees, then this side starts becoming longer. So shorter distance is at that point. So we use this formula. A is equal to half times uh, I8, which is multiplied by L. So this is the height which is we are looking for. But L has two components, which is this one and the other part which is this one. So the combined L is 19. So we know what L is, is 19. We are looking for H. We know what area is, we just from finding area. So we can find that. So let us go to the new page where we have enough space, then we can find the value. So we said we know L is equal to 19.5. So you have to make sure to find this 19.5 centimeter to be correct. Then the area is equal to 42.2 centimeter square. Again, this needs to be correct. So from the fact that area is equal to half times H times L, then we are looking for H. So it will be 2M is equal to LH. So H is equal to 2A over L. So this is the formula that we need to remember. We multiply the area by 2 then divide by the that distance where the angle you use to find the area is facing. So meaning the shortest distance which is h is equal to 2 multiplied by 42.2 centimeter square divided by 19.5 centimeter. So h is equal to, so if you use a calculator and simplify this one, you are going to end up with 84.4 divided by 19.5, this is centimeter square, this is centimeter. So H is equal to 4.3 uh, 3 to 2 decimal places centimeter. That's the shortest distance. So shortest distance is 4.33 centimeter. Once you do that, you are good to go. You get the max that you are supposed to get from this question, which should be 2 max. Then you are good to go. So once at this one, once at this one. So we need to answer now question B, which is in solve this equation. Solve the equation 2 sin x equals to 1 for the interval 90 degrees is less or equal to x, but x is less or equal to 270 degrees. That's what we're looking for. So let us look for where the space and answer this question. So in this case, we are saying sine, so this is b, sine 2 sin x equals 1. So what we say is let x be equal to 180 degrees minus of theta because in this quadrant we have all students take chemistry so we are looking for the quadrant in which sine is positive so sine is negative in the third quadrant and fourth quadrant so we are interested in the uh, second quadrant hence we are subtracting that so we are going to look for 2 sine theta equals 1 so sine theta equals half. Then we say now we're looking for theta. Theta is equal to inverse because we're multiplying by the inverse both sides, 0.5. Then we look for this theta. 
Once we find theta, we use our calculator, we just we press shift to get the second, the inverse shift sign 0 0.05. This is going to give us a theta to be equal to 30 degrees. Now, this is not the final answer. To find the final answer, we're looking for the value of x. We use this uh, assumption. So now x is equal to 180 degrees minus 30 degrees. So x is equal to uh, 150 degrees. And this 150 degrees obey this condition that uh, x is greater but less or equal to 270 degrees. It obeys that condition. So once you do that, you are good to go and you get the one mark. Remember what the condition says? The condition says that x should be greater or equal to 90 but less or equal to 270. So the third degree that we, are, we found is not falling in this interval. It's outside that interval. Hence, we are only getting one answer. If there was no restriction, we are going to have two answers, 150 and 30 degrees as our answer. Let us look at question C. Simplify 3x to the power 3 minus 6x square divided by x square minus 2x. So this one is easier and always Similar question comes, so we are going to have what is common in both sides is 3, then x square, then uh, into that one is going to be x minus c, into that one is going to be 2. Then next, what is common there is x, so it will be x, then x minus 2. You notice that this one and this one is uh, common, they cancel, so we are going to remain with 3x square divided by x, which ends up to be uh, 3x. So 3x is the answer. So once you do this, you are good to go and you would have answered this question and you get the 12 marks in this section. So the question that deals with trigonometry is one of the simplest questions that comes that I would encourage you to answer among the questions that I would want you to choose in section B. Thank you for joining me. Join me as we look at the next question, which is question 10 in the next episode.